Okay, we are at the main assembly site of a brand new Komatsu PC4000-6. And as you can see, to assemble an excavator of this size, you need a big open area. Full assembly of this beast will take a couple weeks to complete before the machine is ready to dig. Now, let's go and take a look at some of the parts. Okay, this first piece that you're looking at right here is the main car body section. The center frame on this machine is an H-type, and each crawler will attach to this section by 62 high-torque bolts. Right here, you can see one of the massive crawlers for this machine. Each one of these crawlers measures 29 feet in length and 8 foot 2 inches in height. Each crawler consists of three top rollers and seven bottom rollers to support the 49, 47-inch cast steel track shoes. And here you can see where it says, PC4000-6. Now let's take a look over here. This PC4000 was ordered in front shovel configuration. And here you can see the 16 foot 1 inch stick section for this machine. Here you can see the pairs of hydraulic cylinders for the stick, the boom, and the bucket. This piece that you see right here is the computer room. It gets attached to the left front side of the superstructure. And through this door is where all of the computers and electronics are located to work the machine. The cab will mount on top of this section. And on the side of this section, you can see the crisp decals that say Super Shovel, and below, PC4000. Right here is the hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which also contains the full flow return line filters. The gauge that you see on the side of the tank tells the operator or mechanic how much hydraulic oil is in the tank and also shows the proper way to park the machine to check the oil level. This is the oil cooler section. It gets mounted directly next to and ahead of the hydraulic oil tank. It features four large swing-out vertical air-to-oil hydraulic coolers with two temperature-regulated hydraulically driven fans. On the right side of the hydraulic tank, you can see the other set of decals. This is the fuel tank section of the machine, and you can see the built-in access stairway so the operator can get up to the cab. And here's the cab section right here. The PC4000 features a cab that is designed exclusively for Komatsu's mining class of hydraulic excavators. Komatsu has made a lot of changes and upgrades to this cab, such as this catwalk that you see right here in front of the front windshield, which is a very nice feature allowing easy access for the operator or mechanic to clean the windshield and replace a mirror or windshield wiper. And this big cab comes standard with sun guards on the side windows to reduce sunlight glare on the operator. Here's the boom section. On the side you can see the Komatsu decals. This boom measures 23 feet 6 inches in length. And here you can see where it will pin to the superstructure. Right here is the main superstructure for the new PC4000. The main frame is mounted over an externally toothed swing circle, which will support the upper works of this machine. And here you can see the two sets of air intakes and air cleaners. This is the power module section for the PC4000. This machine is powered by a single big diesel engine, which you can see right here. This is a brand new Cummins QSK60 V16 diesel engine that will produce 1875 horsepower. And a single gearbox drives four main identical hydraulic pumps, which you can see right here. And on this side, you can see all of the service doors 
to get back inside of the powerhouse. All of these crates that you see here contain other various smaller parts for this machine. And last but not least, here's the counterweight, with the Komatsu decal being covered to prevent it from being scratched.